Only qualified personnel should service and install HVAC appliances and accessories. See product manual for details. This video will demonstrate how to calculate Delta T on a residential HVAC system and diagnose possible issues. The following tools are recommended to have on hand when servicing an HVAC appliance. Foil tape, a drill with a step bit, the product manual, a thermometer, a manometer with pitot tubes and gas valve adapter, and all appropriate PPE. Before measuring Delta T, remove and inspect the air filter to ensure it's clean and free of blockages, and replace it if necessary. Next, remove both service doors from the appliance, and reset your manometer so it reads zero inches water column. Connect the manometer to the valve and verify the gas inlet and outlet pressures are correct. When checking gas pressures, the correct values are located on the appliance's rating plate. If a two-stage furnace is being serviced, verify that the pressures for both the low and high fire modes are correct. Let the furnace run for at least 10 minutes to allow the temperature to stabilize. Drill a small hole in the return air ductwork and measure the internal temperature using a thermometer. Record this temperature and repeat this step for the supply air. If the system has an A-coil, ensure to measure and record the temperature both above and below the A-coil. When recording these three temperatures, ensure to indicate each location to help diagnose potential issues. Before calculating Delta T, use foil tape to seal the holes in the return and supply air to keep the system as airtight as possible. To calculate Delta T, take the supply air temperature from one of the locations and subtract the return air temperature. Repeat this calculation for the other supply air location, which will give you an indication of how the A-coil is affecting the temperature. If you are servicing a two-stage furnace, ensure you calculate the Delta T for both low and high fire. Once you have determined all Delta T calculations, ensure they are within the range indicated in the product manual or on the rating plate. If the Delta T is too high, it indicates that there is insufficient airflow. This could be caused by a dirty or clogged air filter or a coil, restricted or improperly sized ductwork, or the wrong blower speed. If the Delta T is too low, it indicates that there is too much airflow or incorrectly sized ductwork. Regardless of a high or low reading, it's important to correct the issue and calculate the Delta T again to ensure it is in the correct range. This will ensure the system can operate efficiently. Once all adjustments have been made and the Delta T values are correct, record the values on the commissioning sheet and reset the system to its regular operating temperature before leaving it with your customer. Click here to view the Wolf Steel Technical YouTube page. Like and subscribe to our channel to get notifications for new product and troubleshooting videos.